we have returned. Welcome Once back, again. everybody. Yep, so this is Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Critically acclaimed soundtrack. Uh, yeah. Brutally hard, casually. Still pretty hard speedrun. Um, gonna see a lot of jank, especially in level one. Man, this, uh, this level one kind of stinks, but... Nico is an expert, and surely he won't get stuck in level <laughs> one for, like, five uh, minutes. It's just right, legit. Nico? Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I yep, don't know. Well, uh, yeah, so basically we're Luke, and it's very loosely based on Empire Strikes Back. Um, a lot of this stuff... Loosely? ...doesn't actually happen. Yeah. Loosely, yeah. A lot of this stuff doesn't actually happen, but, you know, it's it's, it's the spirit of Empire Strikes Back, but... Yeah. Nico, That's think, true. Whenever you're ready to go, we can we can kick it off. Yeah. So, uh... Oh, yeah, they're counting down. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll let you deal with that, because... Okay. Seems tough. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Three, two, one, go. That was about right. <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad. Yep, so we start off on Hoth here, and Nico's riding his little Tauntaun, which is going to come in handy. We're going to go pick up a lightsaber in level 1, because the blaster is ridiculously underpowered. Um, and you're going to need a lightsaber basically everywhere. Right, and it's basically the one-stop shop, and he's pretty much just going to go back to the very beginning here and skip the entire level with the glitch. So he's trying to get a double jump mid-air, and worry. basically what happens is like if you you can dismount your tauntaun mid-air, and if you jump the frame after that, it basically doesn't register you getting off the tauntaun, but it thinks that it's on the ground, and it'll let you. Uh, let you do some mid-air jumps. So this one's the tough one. You got to do two in a row. Did you mention it's frame perfect yet? Uh, it's frame perfect. <laughs> and you got to do it three times in level one. Oh, also, there we go. Only... Ooh, let's go. Uh, wasn't too bad. Not too bad. It only works at certain parts of your jump, too. Yeah, so, I don't know. It's it's a little bit strange. Not only is it frame perfect inputs, but you gotta start the jump at the right time as well. Yeah, and uh, it, it's also yeah. awkward because you have to press select first and then A on the next frame. Yeah, just a weird. It, it stinks. It's a horrible level one. Just like talk about level one jail. Um, yeah. So this stage is basically an auto scroller. Um, you get five harpoons, but there are ten walkers to kill. So, Nico is strategically destroying <laughs> his, uh, his speeder here so he can go up and get this free insta-kill. Because anyone who's watched the movie knows that their armor's way too strong for blasters. You can blast them, but it takes an absolute eternity. So, we're just gonna bunny hop and do the little throw the bomb inside that he does. But just yeah. like five times instead of once. I mean, want so. some snowtroopers to spawn as well, which is not happening. Oh, there we go. One. Yep. We need five. Yeah. So the, whenever you kill these snowtroopers, they drop this little gray box with an S in it. And uh, once you collect five of those, it'll give you another speeder back. Yep. So there's three really close in a row here. The three walkers really close together. So he's gonna hop around and get these, and use his harpoons for the ones that are further away, and then he'll finally crash again for the very last one to get him. This level's pretty easy. Um, if you make mistakes, it's pretty easy to get blasted by those snow troopers, though. Well, where's my ship? <laughs> where's my ship? Yeah, there, it has something to do with like the frame you start jumping after that last walker, um, but it can take a different amount of jumps before your uh, before your speeder will reappear. Some kind of frame rule or something. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but it typically takes between 7 and maybe 11 jumps 
to get that uh that speeder to spawn back, but Yeah, usually. It can yeah. be up to like fifteen if you're really unlucky. Yeah, yeah, like if you just miss it. That's pretty rare though. Really good crashes, so part of this is timing um timing your crash location so you don't have to move. And Nico did a really good job on that one. 10, 11, let's go. Right, <laughs> Where's my over. ship? <laughs> Where is it? Yep, and now we're in... We get some nice sound effects there, everybody's favorite. Um, yeah, so now we're in Echo Base, trying to flee the planet here. You know, just walkers inside, just like the movie. <laughs> <laughs> And so Nico is going to grab a lightsaber power-up, um, and he dies on purpose. <clears throat> Intentional death. Yes. All too easy. Oh, he got a no to the song, which means he's cringe and lost time. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> but that, uh, that lightsaber power-up he got is going to come in handy in some of these later stages. It drastically increases the damage of your lightsaber. Um, for the cost of a little bit of force power, um, is that bar right next to his health there. Um, it really doesn't use all that much force power for how strong Looks like it is. we got a slow platform. Yep. So this section stinks. Um, it's, it may as well just be RNG. It's dependent on a lot of things, like enemy spawns and, you know, what frame you spawn the platforms, things like that, but um, basically those platforms can move at different speeds, and if it's not fast, then you end up losing a lot of cycles on those, and you have to you have to wait for the second and third ones, and then you gotta wait for the vertical one, and it's just, uh, it stinks. Yeah, so he's making his way over here, he's gonna go grab a force speed power-up. It's a bit out of the way, but it saves so much time that it's uh Ooh. it's worth this little detour here. All right, so he's going to take out this walker. Really nice kill there. Thank you. You need this walker to cross a damaged area. So there's some damaged floor like the one that he died on intentionally when he grabbed the lightsaber. Um, but there's a really big section of that that you can't cross um, unless you have this walker. So Looks like a big yeah. detour, but basically, yeah, basically necessary instantly unless kills you're you. Ass. Yeah. Yeah. You can survive so, with frame perfect jumps. Yeah. Good luck doing like four back to back frame perfect jumps with zero HP and avoiding the shots from the probe droids, though. <laughs> but you yeah. could save an insane amount of time if you did that. Nobody's done it yet. Yep, and we're coming up on a boss here. It's basically a big probe droid. Shoots a bunch of rockets. So Nico also grabbed that force power that increases his blaster damage. Now we have the real boss. This thing I messed up. will mess you up. Uh-oh. Ooh. Ooh, he's all right, though. All too easy. All to it. Yep. And this is why the force speed's so good. You just <clears throat> run super fast. All right, now we're going to go meet Yoda on Dagobah here. This level is... It might as well just be impossible. These two levels, um, if you don't know the speedrun strats, they're basically everything's out to get you. It's insanely hard. It's really easy to get in a death spiral. Just jumping over this ant boss, using the force speed to... Not make it under that spider. <laughs> yeah, it's up. Oh, oh God, the blobs. <laughs> yeah, Good old small, um, for the spider. Small mistakes really add up in this. Um, Nico's pretty low health. Playing it safe here. Normally you can go on that vine just straight from the, or right from the get-go. You save a little Maybe. bit of time versus doing the extra charge jump, but... If you get Once blob, you it's up, so hard to do it. Yeah, it's just not worth it either, because there's like an arm that sticks out of the tree that'll get you. No! No! 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> okay, now this is a bit of an. Thing. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna die. So you're supposed to. There's the arm. Uh. All right, and uh, we're on Dagoba One for the first time here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> nothing's ever gone wrong. That's a uh, new yeah, way so... to mess up. Well, I guess yeah. not new, but yeah, not new, but uncommon. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, I activate. I, I activate a speed boost early. It messes up that part. As yeah, I was the... saying, the small mistakes really add up on these stages. That being said, Nico's goal in this stage is like three seconds faster than mine, so. He can do it, guys, okay? He's the certified a... pro, and that's how bad this crap is. It was a really stupid mistake not making the jump. <laughs> so you just hold right till the end. Till you make it onto the vine. Oh. But yeah, that grasshopper is really mean. It, uh, you pretty much have to be right at the very edge of that platform. And you have to do two charge jumps in a row. So, what's weird is you're able to charge a jump in this game by just holding down. But you can also hold down while you're still mid-air. And you can kind of chain charge, jump, charge jumps together like that. So, like, you don't have to be on the ground to... Okay. To we almost fell down again. <laughs> It works. It's fine. <laughs> and we're out. And let's Only go. lost All two right. minutes. <laughs> and your reward is playing the same thing, but even worse. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh oh. We're dead. Jesus. And he's dead. This is, uh,. Yeah, not going well. Great game, guys. <laughs> okay, that's much better, Jesus. <laughs> here we go. All right, we're going to see the grasshopper again here in a second. Uh, Nico's an absolute pro. He's going to jump over him. No. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know how I survived. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, we're gonna grab the health here. It's all good, yeah. Holy. <laughs> World record holder, by the way. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> Do I need to remind you who's number two? <laughs> <Yeah>. No. <laughs> Alright, and so he just picked up the Levitate power, and this is a pretty busted OP power where you can skip all kinds of stuff, and we're going to see it all over the place. Epic Minuing by Nico knows exactly what he's doing. Really good jump there, doesn't spawn that uh, mushroom to explode. That's actually a pretty tight pixel window there to, uh, to be able to just land on that one mushroom without having to wait. And we're gonna kill the fake Vader in the Cave of Darkness or whatever that thing is. Sees Luke's face in it and he's like, oh no, am I turning bad? Mm -hmm. Alright, now we're cruising. Yoda is down there below, but where it's baby flyover. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, this is arguably one of the worst levels in the game, or one of the least consistent levels in the game. Yep. And it totally happened in the movie where Luke just goes on a killing rampage to the citizens of Cloud City before he even knows it's a trap. Just comes in guns blazing. Ooh, okay. Ooh, really nice. He's basically insane. Oh, I just missed him. So these enemies will spawn in set intervals. Um, Not too bad. From certain positions, too. So, like, the the cloud cars spawn a certain way, and the TIE fighters spawn a certain way. That was, yeah, that was a pretty good fight. A little bit dodgy on the cloud cars, but the TIE fighters, which is the hard part, is, uh, is pretty good. 
So, as you can see here, he is not waiting for R2 to, <laughs> to shut off those laser gates. Um, basically, if you get right next to it and jump through, you're moving so fast that you can uh, avoid taking any damage. Like, normally it's an insta-kill. But, yeah, you kind of use that mechanic and skip the entire level because this level sucks and there's a bunch of those little bounty hunter guys, which we'll see in the next stage. Yep. You're basically invulnerable at the start of your jump. Yeah, the acceleration's pretty high. And uh, normally, we'd be fighting Boba Fett here, but Baby Flyover game, you, if you just never spawn him, then you don't have to fight him. And the uh, invisible wall doesn't show up. This also totally happened in the movie. Basically, there's a spot that you can hover at here to where this guy will always stay just in a straight line, and you can blast him to pieces. Um, normally, he's flying all over the place, going diagonal and shooting bombs and crap at you, but yeah, Nico dialed it in there, and you can basically just spam. Alright, we're on to Cloud City 2. Let's see if we can Trying float all the way to Leia. the bounty hunter. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh. Fly over game? Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> Such an this is like just like the movie. I like how you're just the same speed as the elevator, like you just might as well be on the elevator. Yeah, but we're slightly like higher, so. Yeah, yeah. It's just funny watching them next to each oh, other. Uh -oh. Jesus. Okay, we're just grabbing this. Alright, Nico's a giant chicken grabbing the help. Uh, it seems legit. Yep. So the tricky part of this is you gotta cut this corner real tight or else you spawn an enemy that will create an invisible wall to the left and you really and don't want that. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna switch to the Force Blaster power. See how uh, fast he's just absolutely shredding this clown. Woo! And I we have to kill one of these much. guys. Yeah. We also discovered that you can just fly over this. There are supposed to be some more little mini-bosses down below, but... Yeah. You can spawn the ones above you instead. And now... It's basically as long as you don't have the boss on screen, it doesn't spawn. And, and it, it doesn't, doesn't create, create the invisible wall, yeah. Yeah. Killing a fake Vader here. And you get a full health and force refill. Ooh. Going to confront him now. It's all happening very fast, but we saved Han and Leia already. Darth Vader definitely has a gun and is just... Blasting all over the place, just like the movie. Alright, dodging the green stuff. Impressive. Impressive. You can see how useful this uh, levitate power is. I also just think it's required as well. I think at the end here, you just have to have it. Yep, we're gonna go over here, get a force refill so we can use the levitate, like I was just saying. This is arguably one of the worst parts in the entire game, is this little tunnel here. And Nico gets lucky, though. Normally, you can, or sometimes you can spawn those little guys that throw those green grenades, and it'll Let's knock you down out here. of the air, and it's really annoying. All right, now this is the final fight. It's a bit of RNG. Oh, no, no, I went to the right. Fuck. <laughs> oh, get Rick, nerd. Well, well two more tries. The good part about this game is there are no checkpoints. Yeah, so Vader is basically a complete bogus final boss. Um, but Nico did just make a mistake there. So Vader throws all kinds of crap at you, you know, like in that one scene where uh, he like vacuum cleaners Luke out the window. And uh, Luke stinks and can't avoid that stuff. But yeah, that happens in this too. And basically the knockback is so crazy. If you just get hit by one of those things, you get stuck in a knockback loop, and it's really easy to just get pushed right off the edge. Sometimes you can recover with a, uh, if you have enough force power to levitate back up, but that's not always the case. But the key is to stay to the left of Vader, 
if you go to the right side of Vader and he like you basically you let him pin you in the edge of that platform like in the movie, then you get your hand chopped off. So we don't want that. And that's what Nico did. <laughs> so we're gonna try to try to avoid doing that again. No run is safe until Vader's down. I mean, we've all lost plenty of runs just to uh, bad Vader patterns. Sometimes there's really just nothing you can do. Yep. Here we go. Let's try it again. Epic menuing. The force is with you, young Skywalker. Hold. Okay, we got him this time. Ooh, we got him. That was like baby's first Vader pattern. Ooh, nice the <laughs> meme fall. <laughs> and that's the end. Yep. The estimate was 20 minutes, right? <laughs> nice run. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that's a solid estimate. Give yourself a couple of couple of deaths. Man, Vega <laughs> Bug really got you, man. Yeah. That's good enough for last place, dude. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was basically Dagobah and uh, and the last level that just two very costly mistakes. Like that that that, that fall down in Dagobah was basically as good as a death. Yeah. Oh, well, and then you actually in did end up dying the second time around too. Yeah. It's like yeah. the snakes on the vine, like those blob guys. Oh man. <laughs> Like I was saying, it's like one mistake and it's just all over there. This game is very, very punishing. As we saw, I mean, Nico has the world record and his run is really strong, but again, one mistake and then you, you're just toast. Nothing you can do. Play perfect or, or get owned. Yeah. Vader, is, Vader can be kind of awkward because he when he pushes you away, you're a little bit too far, so you want to move towards him, but you also want to make sure you don't move too far, and he walks through you, and that's what I did. Yeah, yeah. The sweet spot is, like, right in the middle of him, but just to the left. Because yeah. when you have... You can hold up while you're swinging the lightsaber, and you get a lot of hitboxes, pretty much, on your attack, and that's what you want. So you want to be at, like, just the perfect spot where Vader's getting hit by every single one of those... But yeah, it's tough, especially getting knocked back and you gotta like reposition and stuff. Yep. Tough luck. Oh, well, I think that I was love it. this end theme. Oh yeah, the end theme. Is a little eight-bit cantina song. Oh, it's so good. It also plays in the menu, but you rarely hear that. Yeah. So good. It's the longest track by far, by just like 15 seconds. What's the All only the track that doesn't stuff. get cut off for some reason? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the the sound effects overwrite the music pretty much, and the music in every level is like a three second loop that repeats every what twenty seconds maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just get like just enough to recognize the theme of the area you're in, and then it cuts back out. Like twenty seconds of music and then forty seconds of silence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Anyways, yeah. Nice run. Yeah, thank you. Nice comms. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this thank game you, Dave. Is fun. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. You're a brave man having us two in a row. <laughs> no oh, cool. Who do we got up next? Hopefully, OBS doesn't, doesn't crash again. I'm yeah. afraid to transition the screen, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs>